this clicked start hello and welcome to kyalagra market our daily show on nifty bank nifty usd i mean you know what this thing is on so we look at uh, we look at uh, nifty we look at bank nifty we look at usd nr we look at open interest data fidi analysis and we finally try to come to a conclusion on what the market is likely to do and we come to a conclusion on what we should be doing and we talk about some trades etc etc so a lot of people early on so i guess uh, whatever we talked about on thursday worked so i'll just recap thursday's analysis uh, so on thursday when we last signed off our idea was if there is a close above thursday's close we can see pullback but if it is not the case then we are short again so on thursday if you recap our idea was that if the market closed above 16400 it was clearly a buy because it confirms the bullish engulfing but otherwise it's a breakdown of the bullish engulfing and we are in negative territory again but uh, if we are looking at weekly candle oops sorry i think we have a situation here so <laughs> sorry 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 uh, i think you so uh, so uh, so there is a negative candle here we also talked about that so on thursday if the close was above on friday if the close was above thursday's close then it should sort have of formed a uh, bullish hammer but if it is below we said that hammer will not be formed and then it is going to be trouble right so basically the idea was unless friday close was above thursday's close it's a short in fact it was very much below uh, uh, the close on uh, thursday the friday close and this was a clear short signal right in fact the good news is that uh, it was a decent level to enter 16226 and it was a huge fall after that right so all of that is well and good all of that is nice uh, but now the ca catch is okay what next right this is the question where everything makes uh, 14500 going to happen pranav is saying i don't know uh, maybe yes it looks scary dow jones is 3% down again that's not nice um uh, ouch so yeah so let's look at what to happen right uh, so uh, there was one thing i should have done yesterday but i could not which is basically a lot of people would have thought today after the gap down it's a good idea to book the shorts right but i don't think this is over but then we have been saying this last week also that now the eventual target is somewhere near 15500 so we have another 300 points to go at least to have some sort of a pause i'm not saying it's a reversal point it might be a pause point and that is clearly because the channel bottom right and the way today's price action has worked it doesn't seem like it is going to respect this zone which is around 15800 15800 zone is clearly gone after today so we might not see a stop to selling today i think the eventual the first target for me at least the first target right uske baad shayad niche jayega but at least it will pause or bounce a little bit from there that is going to be for 15400 zone right that is inference number 1 so let's look at the so basically right breakdown there are big red candles i don't know why i said links there might be uh, some pauses and little bounces but they are not buying opportunities they are selling opportunities the market looks poised to fall in the long terms no questions asked right and that is very evident to us because daily time frame looks bearish weekly time frame of last week was bearish now it has even gone below this bullish hammer which gave support to the market last week now it is below even this red candle so all the bullish candles which formed 3 weeks back they are all invalidated this bullish candle is invalidated this bullish hammer is invalidated everything is gone and even on weekly time frame it looks like massively negative so chart wise there is absolutely i mean it looks like there is no hope left now let's look at option chain right if you look at option chain it's a very clean story today everybody sold calls very few people sold puts uh, 30 million calls added 50 million 5 million puts added overall pcr 100 is to 50 that is not nice at all right 
15 500 therefore seems to be the first realistic support of nifty which is also in line with our analysis that the bottom of the channel lies somewhere over there <laughs> right so option chain is also confirming that 15 500 seems like the first support so uh, there are two data points which say that 15 500 ke pass we'll see a pause not a reversal a pause and it's very important please don't take longs there it's a time to possibly get out of some of your shots so uh, PCR is bearish, option chain is bearish, 1500 might be your first point of support which is also in line with chart. Interesting FIA DI data, FIA bought calls and sold puts. This is the only spec of positivity today. But even if you take that into consideration, it is undeniable that there are three times or four times as many uh, puts as calls even today despite today's reversal. Because uh, Friday was massive, right? Today was a little... A little bit of profit booking has happened but even then 2000 crores almost on index 1800 crores to be precise and 4000 crores 4100 crores on stock that is also negative so basically i mean in a very panicky terms we are all gonna die so uh, uh, so basically I, my verdict is this sell on uptick still 15500 zone maybe pause at 1500 i don't know what will happen after 1500 obviously nobody knows uh, but this is my first target right uske baad we'll i mean uske baad also we'll come and do this analysis on youtube right so what's the uh, we can always see what is the price action saying there and i am happy to sell calls for two reasons one uh, there's a very there's a lot of iv these days high iv pay call based as a very good idea you'll eat a lot of premium i don't want to short futures purely because it's difficult to manage an otm call is a happy happier instrument to trade now than a future uh, otm put is not a very happy instrument to trade because of high iv if you sell a call what will happen is even if you're wrong it is eight otm so you have some cushion and iv will fall a little bit so you will get some vega i mean basically my entire strategy in these markets is revolved around selling calls than anything else right um, um, Akash, Akash is saying tomorrow gap up maybe uh, Joy is saying 3 crore ka loss you have 3 crores why would I don't so, Now let me I'm again reading the comments okay so let me go to so but I'll tell you one thing which is giving me some hope for nifty okay I'll just say it because I noticed it but I don't think it is going to be the place where anything will pause but because I'm seeing it let us be aware of it right if you connect I mean there is a case for thinking that if you connect this this and this right there is some there might be some support here i mean again i don't think it will be big for because sub for support to be there it has to hold right so tomorrow if it's gapped down and it sustains below today's close then again this line is also gone right all i'm saying is that tomorrow if there's a gap up and a reversal signal we might see some up move from here but tomorrow if there's a gap down and it sustains then whatever i have drawn now connecting this 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 and this will be gone so my idea is tomorrow if there's a reversal candle we can think of getting out of the shot because there's a support and a reversal candle but tomorrow if there is a close below today's close uh, and it sustains there or even an open below today's close and it sustains there then there can be further down move all the way to 40 minutes again if you ask me i don't think this is going to happen i think there is still negativity in the market but because I saw it, I'll just present it because, you know, we need to be aware what all exists, right? We need to know everything in the sense that I'm not opinionating. I'm just pointing out that it exists. And I'll also show that in Bank Nifty, if you connect these two bottoms, right, one, two and three, there, it, there is a case to argue that there can be a pause here. Again, I don't think it will happen. I think it's not enough to say tomorrow there has to be price action backing it, but also the middle of this trend line the channel right that is somewhere over here so there might be a pause <coughs> but if tomorrow it opens below and it sustains then the middle of the channel is also gone and we can see a correction all the way to maybe 30,000 right because that seems to be the eventual end destination of this channel 
right so all i'm saying is that there can be a pause see if there's a reversal if there is no reversal signal and by reversal signal i mean a proper candle like a bullish engulfing bullish harami uh, bullish uh, uh, hammer etc then we can think about it otherwise if tomorrow's close and tomorrow's sustained market price action is below today's close then it is going to be below the middle of the trend line and we can see further correction right so that is bank nifty uh, and finally going to dollar we talked about dollar i mean we have been talking about this forever we have always been saying that this is some strong consolidation for an eventual breakout today it seemed like it broke out but again towards the end of the market uh, again right you have to on a domestic chart so if you look at the domestic chart on your uh, uh, if you look at the domestic chart on your broker terminal on USD INR, you can see a shooting star, right? So just be careful about it. So I had dollar long, by the way, um, not not much, like so very tiny amount I had to like on a call spread. So I got out from my dollar long today because of the shooting star, right? I mean, it, tiny bits. I was mostly doing it for fun, but but it exists, right? I'm just again pointing it out that there is a shooting star if you look at dollar. On domestic market not in trading view from your brokers terminal you can see that right I'll just answer one question because I really like this question uh, Mandar is asking was there ever a time when you were ultra pissed during a trade and imploded yes there was that was the second biggest loss in my life I lost roughly around a lakh and a half or two rupees in a single morning two lakh rupees in a single morning again it's not much but you know for me at that time it was big because I simply had a fight with somebody uh, slept late woke up on the wrong side of the bed and uh, traded that morning despite you know telling myself that i shouldn't have and i lost money and it was pretty bad but yeah i mean there has been a time when so here's the thing right if we are pissed we won't uh, drive on a highway right we'll just calm down so that we don't cause an uh, accident if we are pissed we will probably not play a game of poker or game of chess or something if we are pissed we won't go write an exam somehow when people are pissed they trade that, that is crazy right because we lose our real money so yeah, I mean, the answer to that in continuing with my series of mistakes is that don't trade when you're sad, mad, angry, based, hungry, any, any of that stuff. Or even if you didn't sleep uh, the previous night properly, then defer your trading for the next day. Uh, and in Pyrotech is saying, if there's any reversal, I think it will be temporary. Yes, I agree with you. I don't think this is going to stop here. See, my problem is this, right? When Nifty went from 8,000 to 14,000, we tried to call so many tops and we were wrong at all times when we called the tops, right? Similarly, except of course when we called it in 1800, similarly when it is going down and down and down, why should we be calling the bottom? There's no point in calling the bottom. There is of course some sense in understanding where the supports are so that we can, you know, get out and get in an upticks. But please don't try to predict the bottom here. Please don't try to call the bottom here. Please don't try to build equity portfolio here. A lot of people are saying that now is a good time to buy stocks. It's absolutely not. If that was, if this was a good time to buy stocks, I don't think FIA would have been selling so much. I think the bottom will be formed when it will be formed. There is a lot of uh, hope among retailers even now. I think uh, the bear market ends when it's absolute pessimism, which I don't see right now, right? I don't see absolute pessimism right now. So maybe I... I, 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 my personal opinion, like if somebody were to ask me ki boss, aap kab stock buy karoge, I, I think I might wait till 14,000 to start an SIP. I don't think I want to start an SIP at 16,000. No one knows bottom, just like Akash says, right? So, yaar, wait karke dekhte, why do I want to get in? It's like this, right? Don't catch a, catch a falling knife, right? And a lot of people say that, you know, light is darkest before the dawn. Yaar, adalam sari, but, uh, you know, uh, how do you know this is that dawn, right? At uh, 12 in the night, you'll think, ah, it is looking pretty dark. Dawn will soon come then. It is 1 a.m., then it is 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Boss, kab hoga ye? So, so don't try to predict the dawn, right? Let the dawn happen. And when the first streaks of bright light start appearing, then you can start buying portfolio. But uh, don't say that this is very dark. Let me predict the dawn. I mean, that's, that's not how it works, right? Uh, so anyway, my, my read on the market is that our old target of 15400 500 is still intact when i asking bank nifty uh, 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 shorts cover karu yaar i honestly don't know like uh, 
it all depends on see like you can see this chart also right maybe 31000 is a possibility like it's it's a very real possibility 32000 maybe uske baad dekha jayega yaar so you can cover your shorts when you see the reversal signal is my big headline because right now unless you see a reversal signal it doesn't make sense to get into anything so that is our so basically right the long story short summary of the session today is that there is it is not a time, see even if you don't short it is okay but please don't long at this stage till you find a reversal signal right stay short sell on every uptick don't try to predict the bottom anybody who tried to predict the top of nifty between 8000 and 18000 got you know so anybody who will try to find the bottom also on the way back will get so we don't want to be those people who get you know so just wait it out uh, stay short if you are short if being short is uncomfortable don't do anything but please don't be long because if there is any uh, because there's no reversal signal in the market yet and till there is a reversal signal to bet against the trend right if you go long you are betting against the trend because the trend is now established right now if anybody says that this is uh, not a downtrend and we are just seeing some th that is just doesn't make sense right so in a downtrend please don't try to predict the bottom the bottom will be formed when the reversal signal comes and it will be backed by data oi fi everything till that point let us stay short even if you want to go long go long with like one lot instead of going long basically if you are shorting three lots on the way down and if you are trying to catch that tiny reversal do it with one lot position sizing right like i have also done some long maybe last month or something but that was with half the lot size so if you are planning to do that bet size accordingly but again my strong advice would be don't try to catch these intermittent bounces in a larger downtrend right always trade with the tick don't trade against the tick and against the trend basically in a downtrend sell on up tick don't try to buy the down tick and catch that small it doesn't make sense right so uh uh so uh, ajit is asking am i from yaar i am not from any cartel no nothing and uh, yeah so so yeah that is our you know uh, analysis for today we'll see you again uh, tomorrow uh, i hope uh, all your trades go very well and you're all able to book great profits at great levels uh, so thanks once again guys for joining we'll see you again tomorrow till then as usual please don't uh, uh, trade because you missed the opportunity or anything please trade only because it makes sense at that point keep your capital safe practice risk management don't impulse trade plan your trades very well and you know get into the market when it makes uh, proper sense so on that note i'll uh, take your leave uh, good luck for tomorrow keep your capital safe and best of luck thanks guys bye good night